Ben here from Life Science Centre. You may remember way back in April when we made science rainbows using water of different densities, which we put in our windows to cheer on and celebrate our key workers. I loved seeing all your pictures and videos of you making your own science rainbows. And so that's got me thinking today about how else we can play around with density. When we made those rainbows, we used solutions of different concentrations of salt. The most concentrated was the most dense, so sat on the bottom, and the fresh water was the least dense, so floated on top. But changing how salty water is isn't the only way to change its density. So for this, you are going to need two identical small jars or glasses. I find that baby food jars or jars for like chopped garlic or ginger works really well for this. Just make sure that you clean them out beforehand. Two different food colorants. So I'm gonna use red for hot and blue for cold, very original. A piece of card or plastic big enough to cover the opening of the jars. So I'm sure that any of your parents' credit or debit cards would work. Um, a kettle, make sure that you get adult supervision with this though. And a tray. If this gets messy, I don't wanna be the one who gets the blame for sitting in the kitchen benches. Put some food colouring into the two jars and pour cold water to the top of the blue one. And get an adult to pour hot water to the top of the red one. Make sure that they're full to the brim. Put your piece of card or plastic on top of the cold jar and use it to turn the jar upside down and place it on top of the hot jar. When you have the mouths of the jars aligned, slowly and gently pull out the cards. The cold blue water sinks down into the bottom of the jar and mixes with the red and we get our wonderful mixture of colours. We're going to try this again, but this time we're going to put the hot water on top of the cold water. But because it's hot, get your adult to do this part for you. The hot red water has more energy than the cold blue water. So the particles inside move around a lot faster and use up more space. So the hotter water is less dense than the colder water. So it sits on top and forms a perfect line in the middle. Let us see how you get on with these different densities of water by tagging us on social media at Science at Life. And now for the tricky part, and that's clearing up without making a mess. <laughs>